Hello everybody and welcome to your pick a card reading. This reading is intended to bring forth messages about somebody, um, what they're feeling and what they're thinking about you right now. And I'm going to do this in two different parts. I'm going to pull three cards for you to choose from if they hurt you so you can see what they're thinking and feeling about what went down. And then I'm going to pull three cards for those of you where you may have hurt somebody and you want to see how they're thinking and feeling right now. And this can be used for romance, for friend, for family. Okay, so let's pull the cards, the top ones. The first three out are your choices if they hurt you or what they are thinking and feeling. And then the next three choices are um, you hurt them, what they're thinking and feeling. Okay. So I'm going to give these a good shuffle. You're going to choose based upon the artwork you see on these beautiful cards. All right. All right. So they hurt you. Here's your first choice. Here's your second choice. And your third choice. Now, if you hurt them, here's your first choice. Here's your second choice. And here is your third choice. So, I will start with the first card, They Hurt You. There are timestamps for everybody else below, okay? So let's get right into this card. Let me move everybody else out of the way. And this person hurts you. You feel a lot of sadness and pain in your heart right now because of whatever has happened. So let's see what they're thinking and feeling about everything. All right, so there's the artwork. And, oh, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So they are definitely in a place of uh, deep reflection about what happened. And there's a sense of them wanting to change, okay? They know they need to change. Um, they need to make the step to mend the bridge to make everything okay here. They are realizing that. And um, so some of you this could be like there's a separation like there was an ultimatum like you need to do XYZ or I can't participate in this anymore okay and this again could be a romance a friend or a family but this person is really contemplating what's happened here and their part in it and um, inside they know they're wrong and that they need to make things better and they're coming around to that at the time you view this reading with transformation being the overall energy here and your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so their emotional attachment um, to you is what is going to allow this transformation so let's pull a soul journey card and kind of see where they're at right now on their soul path like the lesson this is teaching them how this is impacting them much much deeper So they have some trust issues. They have some emotional wounds, some baggage, okay? Or they realize that they have violated your trust in a very, very big way, okay? So whatever has transpired between the two of you, they are learning about trust, um, what it means for somebody to have trust in them and for them to totally disappoint, but also a reflection of their own emotional baggage and wounds, which facilitates that sort of behavior from them. Okay, so let's pull some heart and soul messages and uh, see what they're going to say. And this is um, ego messages, heart messages, soul messages, 
and messages from your spirit guides as well. So let's see what comes through. What are they thinking and feeling about you? Okay, so a heart message. I'm too afraid to admit the truth to you. Yeah, so they know. They know they screwed up. We see that here, but there's a big fear in taking accountability and ownership of that. Like, even though the cat's out of the bag, if I own up to this, then I'm totally exposed. They're already exposed, right? But um, it's an ego thing where it's like, well, if I hold out and I don't take accountability, maybe this will just blow over type of energy. We have an ego message next. I have addiction. I have an addiction to you. It's the reason I always come back but never stay. Okay, so this person definitely has some emotional baggage, some unhealed wounds <clears throat> that they really need to focus on. Okay, because I just feel they constantly violate your trust. They really let you down. They know that this isn't um, like the first time around that you've been hurt or let down by this person. All right, and look at, we have another ego message. I'm deceptive. I even lie to myself. I have a lot of inner work to do. So this person really operates in survival mode. Okay, um... They've really been through some things, whether you are aware of this or not. They've really been through a lot of different things in their life. And um, this is like a defense mechanism. They're very self-sabotaging. And they know that they're wrong. They know there's an issue here within them. Okay, but they might not know quite how to face that or how to fix that or how to face the shadow within. But they feel it. They know they're wrong. They know they violated your trust. Um, and this, I have an addiction to you. It's like they can never stay away um, forever. It's just, it, it can't happen. Um, they're very drawn into your energy. You're a very healing energy to them. Um, they have a lot of trust in you, even though they violate your trust. It's very bizarre, the dynamics within this person. Let's pull some tarot okay so under I'm too afraid to admit the truth to you look at that we have the seven of cups and in this position like in this position we kind of know what to do in this position <clears throat> we are very like confused stunned which way do I go how do I handle this what's my best course of action here okay so they are very confused at how to rectify to make this better and now we have the nine of pentacles coming out under this ego I'm addicted to you so this right here is talking about you and your energy. You're very abundant, okay? Um, this could be in spirit, in emotion, um, you know, in physical reality. There's just a lot of abundant energy around you, and it really draws this person into you. Um, they feel safe with you. They feel comforted by you. Um, some of you, this could be like <clears throat> you, you're asking about like um, an argument or something between you and like your child, like a, a grown child, okay? I do feel that for some of you that is coming through and they are wrong and they know they're wrong, okay? Uh, um, but for everybody else, this uh, is how this person sees you. Um, very like in very high regards and that's what that weird dynamic is like they see you as this nine of pentacles but they don't treat you as such they don't treat you like you're like they see you okay what they truly think and feel about you is not how they treat you like you wouldn't know how much you truly matter to this person 
based upon like their behavior and their actions okay and now the next card is the empress in this position um, where I'm deceptive I even lied to myself so in this position very abundant energy in this position not so much okay so um, when you're fighting with this person when you're not in their life this is how they feel their world goes from this you know beautiful serene setting all this abundance to you know you see the skull there to everything kind of drying up and withering away that's how they feel when you are not around um, it's like your absence does not go unnoticed by this person however they need to transform they need to face the shadow within and do that work because the way they behave is like um, a defense mechanism self-preservation because of what they've been through but that's no excuse like they need to make a choice to own their behavior and make a change not just in their words not just for a week but a long-term change and follow through with that because if this cycle repeats you know too too many times I just feel like your trust for them is going to be completely broken altogether and um, you will always always question them and there will be like no real coming back from that you could forgive and you could forget but there will just be a part of you that's always guarded and um, not fully emotionally open available and vulnerable to this person if they don't go through this transformation but that's where they're at they desire that within okay they absolutely do they're just not quite sure what like which steps to take how to execute that but they're they're thinking about it right now and they know they were wrong okay so let's pull you some advice courage when picking roses don't fear the thorns okay so this is encouragement from spirit that um, you guys are gonna grow and you know eventually overcome these issues that are currently present um, but you also have to remain in a place of openness and vulnerability with this person to fully heal okay don't fear the thorns just change how you handle things change what you accept and what's tolerated and what you won't accept anymore all right but believe in the power of love as your overall message said here this person absolutely um you know going through a transformation within trying to figure this out trying to figure out how to make it right um how to own up to their behavior to you they know they screwed up but um, it's very hard for them to stay away from your energy they're drawn into your energy quite deeply all right so those are your messages for that first card on what they're thinking and feeling i am sending you lots of love and light take care hello there so here is the second choice for those of you where this person has hurt you. So let's see what the card says. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So this is a very, very firm message from spirit that you are not to reach out. You are not to apologize. You are not to own up to anything because you are not wrong whatsoever and you may have a deep deep desire in your heart to heal with this person again it could be romance friend family okay you have a deep deep desire to heal and it's like you know what I just I don't even care um, you know I just want to move past this and spirit is saying no um, hold your space keep your boundary up because this person needs to come to you it's going to need to own up to you all right so let's um let's pull a card to see where they're at on their soul journey with this issue that has transpired between the two of you
Okay, higher self, a 5D self. So this uh, person, they're feeling a lot um, intuitively. They're feeling a lot of conviction here, okay? Um, their spirit guides are working on them. That's why spirits like, no, you, you wait for them to come to you. Um, you guys are absolutely meeting on the astral plane at night, um, trying to work this out at a soul level. But um, this fight, um, this argument, this disagreement, this separation, whatever it is for you personally, this person is learning a major, major soul lesson through this experience and process with higher self and 5D coming through, all right? And um, they're, they're definitely feeling convicted. They're feeling remorse. They're realizing what they've done here, okay? They are, but that's their higher self, you know, and that does penetrate the conscious mind, but they may be in the process of really um, absorbing these energies and understandings about themselves, their behavior, the consequences and impact of their choices, you know, all of that. But you are absolutely meeting on the astral each night trying to work this out. So let's pull some cards and look at the uh, messages from their heart and soul. There's also some ego cards in here and spirit guide cards. So let's see what comes through for you guys with this person. So we have a heart message. I am not over you, not even close. So regardless of what they portray, they're feeling it big time. And I'm not surprised to see this as the first message with that uh, higher self coming through. They, they feel it. They miss you. They're sorry. Oh, man. And now we have ego. I blame you because it makes it easier for me. It's hard for me to face the shadow within. So what's happened here, what they said, what they did, a choice they made, they feel a lot, a lot of guilt about that. So much so that they almost can't own themselves in it, okay? Um, they miss you. They're sorry. They care. Their heart is broke. But it's like the shadow they, they're struggling to face that and we got the 5D so that's probably also why the higher self is coming through because this is a deep soul lesson for them facing that shadow within and, and truly feeling and experiencing um, the consequence of their actions not just with you but with others is going to um, impact them quite deeply and uh, facilitate like profound change like a whole new perception um, happening for this person okay and lastly we have a heart message I'd never admit this to you but I look at your social media frequently it's the closest I can be to you right now so yeah they are really struggling okay they miss you um, I obviously with that like there's a, a separation here between you and this person um, and they don't want it they don't want to be away from you but their ego their pride still a bit in the way okay and spirits like hold back you've got to wait for them to figure this out okay you you can't um, rush in you can't be the first one to you know put it out there you've got to wait for them to figure this lesson out because when they do they're gonna change and they will have um, the courage within the emotional, mental, and spiritual strength to come to you and own themselves and truly present it in a, a way where you do see that they felt remorse and they've grown and changed from the experience rather than you opening yourself up and them just coming back around because they miss you so much without any change actually taking place. So for this second choice, I do feel separation and there's great purpose in that. It's allowing a big change in this person right here. All right. So let's pull some tarot. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, yeah. So look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles showing up for I'm not over you, not even close. Um, some of you maybe have a lot, a lot of memories and years with this person. Some of you, this is a confirmation of it, you know, being a family member. But this person thinks very highly of you and sees, um, like, so many, like, memories, connections to you, okay? Um, I blame you because it's easier. Look at that. We have the Ace of Swords. It, it's really hard for this person to accept that they have hurt you, that they have caused you pain, that they have let you down. Because as they accept that, the sword cuts into them and they feel the pain that they've handed you. And that's a bit intense for them. Okay. That's why we're doing work on the astral plane each night. That's why their spirit guides are, you know, coming in really strong saying, wait, 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 we are helping, we are working with them. Oh, yes, yes, because look at this. Um, under the heart, we have the Two of Cups. This is like real love, okay? Um, emotional connection, soul connection. This side brand new, this side, it's the real thing, okay? So I do feel that you have a, a long-term connection to this person. You've created a lot of memories with this person and right now they're in the process of really trying to understand and figure this all out their their hand in it their part in it and i feel given the chance like if you could truly see their heart and how much they're hurting and love you and miss you you would um, just run right back to them and be like, let's just forget this. Like, let's just be okay. It's not worth the fighting. And Spirit's like, no, you can't do that. You've got to wait. You've got to hold back because this person is learning a deep, deep lesson. And they're going to change for the better. Okay? They absolutely are. But they're not over you. They miss you. They're hurting over you. They know they're wrong. But they're, um, they can't quite own it all the way. They're in the process of that. And as they do that, that sword cuts into them. And they feel it. Okay, They feel the way that they have hurt you and let you down and wronged you. It's a lot for them to handle. And so um, you know, they're doing a lot of work with their spirit guides as well as on the astral with their spirit guides and you. All right, so let's pull some advice. adapt you will get yourself where you want to be so this is just another message from spirit saying you know get present focus on you work on you right now you need to wait for this person to come to you because they need to they were wrong you are owed a lot from this person so spirit says you know adapt to the separation right now it's not permanent it's just this person really needs to um, figure this soul lesson out and change in a very, very big way so that this stuff does not repeat again because um, it does hurt them the way they hurt you regardless of how they present or portray themselves. There's a lot of pain in their heart. Very, very deep. So know that. All right. So... Those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello there. So for this third card, for the person who has hurt you, let's see what they are thinking and feeling. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay. So you and this person are definitely soulmates, whether friend, family, or romance, okay? Um, I do feel there's separation here because of, you know, the saying, believe this and they will manifest physically. Um, you guys definitely miss each other, noticing the absence of the other, but this, you know, being the primary message is they see you as a soulmate. They feel your absence and... Um, 
your soulmate is already with you in spirit. You may um, have an empathic connection, a telepathic connection, or you may be meeting on the astral each night, okay? So let's pull a card to see where this person is at on their soul journey in regards to you and this situation that has happened and um, caused pain and heartache. doors all right so what's going on inside of this person the way they're thinking about you and what happened is really opening something up inside of them it's activating them all right um also the way they feel about you um uh, it's like you you bring a lot into their world. Maybe you've really helped this person out. You've opened doors for them. You've brought opportunities their way, okay? Um, and I don't feel a sense of like them appreciating you enough for everything that you've done here. And they're starting to become aware of that. Like, I didn't appreciate you as much as I should have. And I, I'm figuring that out. So this person may have been working on some lessons of appreciation and gratitude. What spirit bringeth, spirit can taketh away, right? So let's pull some heart and soul cards. There's also some ego messages and messages from spirit guides. But uh, we'll see what comes through. How this person is thinking and feeling about you. And the way that they hurt you. Heart. I don't show it so you don't know how special you are to me. Boom, right there. First message out. Where there, there's a realization of a lack of appreciation for who and what you are and what you bring to this person. And they don't show it. They do not show you the depth in which you matter to them and the depth in which they truly care about you. All right. And now we have a, a soul message coming through. I have a lot to work out karmically right now. So this person is reaping the karma for different things they've done to you and other people, which is probably why this doors is also here um, and a deep awakening happening within them. And now we have an ego. I run when things get challenging. All right. So you make things too real for this person, whether emotionally um, or through the words that you speak or um, the spiritual connection that you share with them. Okay, because remember, we got soulmate right here. So they feel you as you feel them. And that might be um, a little overwhelming for them. Okay, that might um, be a bit too much. And, you know, you as much as somebody can say they want love and, um, you know, truth and trust and vulnerability and all these things, sometimes when it's handed to them, it's very overwhelming and scary, okay? And they don't know what to do with that. And what I feel, whether this person is a friend, family member, or a romance, um, you gave much, much more to them than they ever gave to you, okay? And they have a lot of um, karmic energy that they need to balance in their life before they can be close in your energy field because I feel you operate like on a higher frequency than they do and it's almost as though you make this person want to be a better person and they're really coming into that understanding of all that you have done for them but they need to have an, an awakening and that's going to take place through the balancing of their karmic energies they're going to have like a tower moment or two okay and they're not going to be able to run when it's challenging because that that's their calling card when it gets to be too much they're out of there when it gets to be too real they're out of there when they get in too deep and they've screwed up too much they're out of there that's just been their pattern but with you the dynamics are different 
This is a, a true soulmate connection and you've helped them so much that you are the catalyst, the facilitator of this activation and you open the door and now it's time for the universe to do the rest and um, bring in those karmic energies for them to balance through some tower moments and that's really going to change them for the better, okay? So you do mean so much more than they have ever, ever shown and uh, it's in their heart. The first card out was a heart message, so that's the predominant space in which you exist for this person. Okay, so let's pull some tarot and see what comes out there. Not only um, does this person have a lot of emotion for you, they have a lot of admiration of your strength, of your wisdom. Um, they see you as somebody like no matter what happens, like you're always going to get back up and push forward and proceed forward. Also, um, with this card, there's some uh, angelic intervention here in this connection pulling you back from this person okay right now at this time and that is to really bring them into their heart space it, it's part of that tower moment that they need to have for the awakening within and Archangel Michael is helping with that okay and here the three of cups in this position so in this position we're partying we're having a good time we're not uh, maybe paying as much attention to details and karma and all the things like we should, okay? And so I feel this is where this person has been, is in this energy. And now um, with the soul, I have a lot to work out karmically. This is a different energy on this side. This is where, you know, I'm on my knees lifting my cup to spirit. So this person is really, really going to be humbled. Um, by just different things that unfold and in that space it awakens them in such a way that they're very very grateful they're going to have um, a deeper connection to spirit and a deeper awareness of their spiritual connection to you and look at this I run when things get challenging five of cups yeah they are so sad they miss you a lot, but it's like that's just their calling card. That's what they do every time as they run when it, it gets to be too much. And um, this time there's angelic intervention coming in because it's time for them to have their awakening and really overcome this. And it's only going to happen by their karmic energies balancing in their life because I kind of feel like they just start that three of cups. They just play games. I don't feel like they have bad intentions, but they're just uh, feels more like a free spirit and they just feel like they get away with stuff because karma hasn't caught them yet. But now karma is and it's not like, oh, you're bad. It's all right. Let me return to you in the way you need it most to awaken you to who you truly are and the ripple effect that you put out all around you to others, okay? And they're going to have this major awakening and they're going to want to show you what you mean to them, what you've done for them, how you've been there for them, okay? But absolutely heartbroken and sad um, through this separation and distance between the two of you, all right? So let's pull some advice. Share. The busy bee should still make time for each flower. All right. Um, this is the energy in which they need to offer to you. Okay. And this is what comes to you after they've had this awakening. Otherwise, it's me, 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 me. And they really need to break out of that. And spirit uh, and the universe are all over it. Okay. So. 
those are your messages for how they are thinking and feeling about you since they have hurt you or caused you pain. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. <clears throat> Hello there. So here is the first card for those of you where you have hurt them and it's created um, tension or distance or separation and you're wondering what they're thinking and what they're feeling okay so this card says reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and faith that all will work out for the best so right now um they feel like you guys need some some space some distance from each other because they're reflecting they're trying to gather their thoughts and their emotions and so this person isn't like um screw you i never want to speak to you again even if they said that to you they don't that that's not how they truly feel but they're also not like hey you know let's work this out right now this minute they're just you know in a period of contemplation and reflection and really wanting to settle their emotions before they make a move of any kind okay so that is the overall message let's pull a soul journey and see where they're at um, you know in the soul about all of this Okay, so we have surrender, which goes perfectly with the opening message. They are reflecting and thinking and really, um, I feel trying to collect themselves. Um, it's like they don't want to make a decision based upon the heavy emotions they're feeling right now. Um, they're kind of just going back and forth in their heart, in their mind, and um, they're in a place of surrender. Like, I trust you, spirit, like divine timing, you know, the answer will come, things like that. It's not like they're in this um, big hurry or push to make any sort of action, all right? Um, they're just really feeling things out right now. So let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what comes out there about what they're thinking and feeling about you. Okay, so this is kind of, um, this is going to be more of a dual message when it's you've hurt them. This is ego and it says, I have emotional baggage and I am not over some part of my past. So um, they definitely have some emotional wounds and the connection with you or whatever has happened here has triggered some of that. Okay, but also um, they see you having some emotional baggage and wounds as well okay so this is kind of where you guys are mirroring each other next is soul i think about all the things you said to me i'm processing it all so um this is a message from their soul and, and we already saw that here yeah they're in a, a deep deep contemplation they haven't made their mind up one way or the other about you or what to do or um, the future of this connection whether friend family or romance okay they're really in a place of reflection and i think they don't want to make a same choice that they've made in the past when they were feeling a lot of different emotions i think there was a lot of regret in them and that may have had to do with you or with somebody else all right and that's why they're really in this place of surrender and flow just trying to understand and trying to process and now we have a heart message i realize now just how special you are wow so even though there's something that's happened here 
they still regard you very highly. They think of you as something very special, unique, and rare. Not easy to find, not easy to come by. Um, I almost kind of feel they're a bit stunned, like kind of stuck in place um, and, and unsure of what to do because this ego, this emotional baggage, you both, I, I feel you mirror each other and you both trigger each other's emotional baggage and that unhealed part of your past, okay? And so the, the friction or the conflict or whatever has happened here, even though it feels heavy and negative and bad, it's truly forcing both of you to look within and 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 see that unhealed wound and what's triggering you both of you so there's a soul lesson taking place within them within you at this time all right so let's pull some tarot Yeah, so here in this position, we're leaving the past behind. You see this here? But in this position, we're still very fixated on it, focused on it, both of you. Um, and some of you, this could be some heavy stuff that they went through in childhood, you went through in childhood. Um, the wound in that you both carry may not be inflicted for the same purpose, but the frequency of the energy of that wound is is very similar. It mirrors each other. And that is like what's in between the two of you. Like that's a blockage. And so that's why it's a soul lesson. Because the two of you are meant to help each other overcome those emotional wounds of the past. Okay? Because to move forward, to trust, to be open, to be vulnerable that has to be let go of in you as well as in them yeah look at that ten of swords but this is good this is good in this position this is where we're you know um, lying on the floor pleading for mercy from the heavens in this position you see the eclipse going on there this is where we've had major revelation and epiphany and we're understanding our journey and the pain and the wounds and <clears throat> what it has taught us. And here, this is, I think about all the things you said to me, I'm processing it all. Okay, so they are definitely evolving through this experience and, and trying to see it from a mature spiritual perspective, okay? Yeah, look at that, I realize um, now just how special you are they think about you a lot okay no matter what happened um, there is a lot of affection and, and high thoughts of you and with this ace of swords they are absolutely thinking about you so rest assured in that um, even though you know there's something that you've done that's hurt them they're still thinking about you and they want to overcome it like they want to forgive you they want to move forward it's just right now you've got to give them some time to really filter through all of their emotions okay um, so that they can come to you as a as a clean slate and see you for how special you are and not um, perpetually punish you for you know what you did that really hurt them because you guys broke each other open to really work on healing this unhealed part of your past and so as you are you know in your separate corners you too should be focusing on yourself and how to heal that part of you that is still existing in the past for whatever reason okay because um this is all about divine timing and I absolutely believe that they are going to forgive you um, and, and want to work things out. But you've just really got to give them some time to sort it all out within themselves. Okay. So let's pull you some advice.
success bloom wherever you are planted yes it is time to be planted in the present and this to me is you guys will um, move past this absolutely all right so those are your messages about what they're thinking and feeling for those of you that um, hurt them I am sending you lots of love and light take care <clears throat> hello there so this is the second card for those of you who are wanting to inquire what somebody is thinking and feeling about you where you have hurt them or let them down in some capacity all right so here's the artwork of the overall message and it says power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time so um, this person is uh, definitely viewing you as being the one in more of a position of power okay even though you are viewing this reading really concerned and curious what they're thinking and feeling about you they feel like you have the upper hand like they're waiting for you to make the move okay and almost um those of you in separation it's almost as though they feel like you have completely just abandoned them forgotten about them like they didn't mean anything to you like you hold all the power the ball is in your court all right is is how they are perceiving this situation so let's uh pull a card to see where they're at um soul wise about all of this trapped emotional energy yeah um they're very uh hurt they're very sad and it's like they don't feel like it haunts them like um man i feel for a lot of you this is where like you like ghosted somebody or maybe you guys had a disagreement and you just um you over exaggerated your emotion like um I, I feel a lot of distance here okay like this person feeling totally abandoned by you like you just forgot about me how, how could you do that and it haunts them okay with this trapped emotional energy it really hurts them and haunts them um it, like why why did you walk away why how did you forget me you know was this even real um, so this you know can be for a romance friend or family but this person does really feel hurt 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 by you um, like that they don't mean anything to you whatsoever so let's uh, let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what comes out there what's going on in, in their heart and soul for you heart I failed at loving you and I'm flawed and I need to figure myself out oh my goodness this breaks my heart they have really personalized what you did what you said walking away and they see it like that it happened because there's a deficit in them oh no all right, let's see what else. Okay, so we have ego. I'm codependent, but I'm not fully aware of this. So um, there is some uh, codependency about this person. And that, you know, it, it can vary just depending. But um, I I feel this more as like the, the depth of their emotion just very much ruled them and controlled them, which may be... Um, over time made them more like codependent on you okay um, maybe they 
wrapped up a lot around uh, around you maybe they had um, <clears throat> too many expectations of you and what you needed to bring into their life all right um, and that may have been very overwhelming for you but uh, there's uh, starting to be an acknowledgement within this person that they they do need to become a bit more emotionally strong within self learn how to be there for their self a little bit more um maybe sometimes they fall into that like victim ment <clears throat> mentality okay uh and they're they're realizing that but what's hard is they really feel like whatever you said whatever you did or walking away is you did that because they're they're flawed they're um, broken they're um, not perfect like they take that very very hard and um, now we have heart message I realize now just how special you are this person thinks so highly of you no matter what's happened here like they truly think highly of you and again like the ball is in your court you hold all the power um, because they just feel so abandoned by you and they don't think that you think about them they don't think that you miss them um, none of it like they don't feel that they had any impact on you even though you are so deeply imprinted within them so maybe um, you know they've just been through a lot in life and so you know they really struggle with any sort of rejection or um, separation you know it's just everybody has their own story but what I can tell you is they are very haunted by you and the way things like happened and what went down and it made them feel really really small and invisible all right let's um, pull some tarot And, you know, you can't help how they personalize things, right? You can't control that. And that may have been an issue when, you know, you were interacting with them. Is it, it sometimes they project their fears upon you and that can get overwhelming at times, right? And they realize that, but the hard part is, is they're really, really personalizing it kind of um, almost in a negative way like hating on themselves like gosh why do I got to be like this if only I was like this or looked like that or I did this then none of this would be and the truth is like none of that is even the case um, I just feel this person really needs some emotional healing um, like they've been through some traumas in their life and they just they need some healing Yeah, whatever you did or said, um, as wrong as you may have been in that, um, they still blame themselves, okay? And some of you, I feel, it's like you didn't do or say anything mean. It's just like you, you walked away or you had to get away because, like, maybe um, you got tired of being accused of certain things or... Um, clingy needy type of energy and I'm not saying that's the case for everybody but I'm definitely picking up on that for some of you where maybe it's like you had to walk away because it became just too much for you and it's not like you specifically did anything cruel or mean or said anything bad but that's how it's perceived by them like you know like um, you just took what you wanted and, and walked away um, others of you this person definitely feels like you just took what you wanted but they it's like if, if I were better that wouldn't have happened like they they personalize it so deeply and um, now we have the uh, six of swords coming through under this ego I'm codependent but I'm not fully aware of this so um, in this position full awareness moving on to better things in this position we're just starting to awaken to that so they're realizing that they need to do some healing and some changing as well okay right now I feel it's like more in a broken place where they're feeling really bad about themselves um, and that's what's trying to motivate them to change 
instead of um, loving themselves and wanting to grow from that space. But I feel like that's what's going to happen here. Like their spiritual team helping them with that come into a place of love for self. Okay. And uh, now I realize just how special you are. So um, with the Wheel of Fortune in this position, over here, it, the energy is flowing and moving. In this position, it's very blocked. So um, this goes back to that sense of, I don't think they realize how much you care or, or that you feel or that you would even be watching a pick a card reading wondering, you know, what they're thinking and feeling. Okay, but they just really believe that you know you you're just gone like they're nothing in your world you hold all the power and um you know it's up to you whether you want to be in their life or not you know like um they feel very helpless in any sort of uh, like pursuit to make this better for whatever reason they just see you as the one who needs to make the move or has the power to do so okay and they really don't think that um, you care about them or that you could possibly be missing them even though they're so full of emotion for you okay they just they don't for whatever reason and again that could just be um, some emotional baggage and fear-based energy inside of them that they need to work through and heal or it could be about, um, you know, what you said, what you did, or if you just like straight up like left. Um, they, they're they very confused as to why and they can only personalize it like something was wrong with them. Okay. So that's where they're at. Um, very, still very upset, but coming into an awareness of self and needing to become stronger within self. Okay. So let's pull you some advice. Grow. All flowers must grow through dirt. So um, you're growing and they're growing through this experience. Okay, you both are and right now it's the hard part but you will get through this and so will they okay so trust the journey trust the process and you know in a week couple weeks couple months all of this energy may change and shift okay but as of right now they absolutely see you as the one that holds the power and look at ace of pentacles would be next so yeah they see you as the one that needs to like come back into their world or come back to them all right so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care Hello there. So this is the third card, the third choice for those of you that hurt somebody and you want to know what they're thinking and what they're feeling about you and what has happened here. All right. So the message says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. Okay. So right out the gate, this person has so much love for you. Okay, no matter what's happened, and they want you to know that even if they're angry at you, even if they're like, hey, I need my space, or you did something and you're like, they'll never forgive me. It's like their love has not wavered one bit for you. And um, I feel there's an empathic connection going on. You feel them, they feel you, and they want you to feel their love. Okay, it's like there's nothing you could do that would ever make me stop loving you. It, there's things you could do that would make me have to put boundaries down or maybe we need some distance some separation some time apart but nothing no one will ever change my love for you not even you okay so this person loves you truly purely and honestly all the way into their soul 
So let's uh, pull a soul journey card and, and see where they're at in their soul when it comes to you and um, what's happened here. Tower moments. Okay, so uh, what happened was uh, a bit intense for them, and it may have been a bit intense for you, okay? And maybe you were questioning, could they ever forgive or could they ever care after, you know, whatever happened here? And the answer is yes, they do. There is nothing that you could ever do that would change their love for you because it, it's real love. It's unconditional love. Okay, whether this is friend, family, romance, it is unconditional love in this person's heart for you. But that doesn't mean that they um, can't pull back or pull away if you've really hurt them. They just want you to know that I will always love you till, till the end of time. Nothing is going to change that. And maybe that's something that they've told you before. And now because of what's happened here, you really have feared that, you know, you're going to lose that and you don't, you don't want like, um, you know, cause I'm just noticing like the eye, like you don't want to like lose your place in this person's eyes. Like, um, you want them to see you the way that they've always saw you and, and maybe, um, what's happened here, like you feel like you've fallen from grace and you, you can't face them. Like you don't want them to look at you any other way than the way they have always, always looked at you. Okay. And they're like, nothing will change my love for you. So let's pull some heart and soul messages and see what's going on in that space. So we have a soul message. We have known each other before in a life apart from this one. So um, this is their soul coming through. And um, this person just knows, like you guys are soulmates. You guys have had lifetimes together before. And that goes back to why this person's love is so deep and so strong for you. They absolutely recognize the soulmate connection here. Next is heart message. I write messages to you. I just can't seem to send them. So they want to communicate. They do want to tell you things. They're just not quite sure how or can I, you know, can I send this message? Will it be well received? And next is ego. Okay, so um, this is, uh, this kind of goes both ways. Okay, when it's the ego message, because this is how this person is perceiving you. Karma hasn't caught me yet, so I'm not really aware of how my actions impact you and others. So this person feels like you you need a wake up call. You need some awareness about yourself and what you do and the consequences of that and the way it, it hurts others or impacts others. Okay. So this is like the only bit of negative energy that I've received throughout this whole reading so far when it comes to this person about you, okay? So they do feel that maybe you exist a bit too much in your ego or you have too much pride or you're spontaneous, like you don't think things through. Um, maybe some of you, it's like you have a, a big temper and you get really angry and you just like say things that you don't really mean. All right. They just feel like you need um, some awareness, some sort of um, evolution about you or like um, something will just happen again. All right. And, you know, maybe they have put some distance between you guys because of, you know, you know, talking about down here about the unconditional love. And then I write messages to you. I just can't seem to send them. All right. Um, there is a desire within them to, to be in your space, but um, I feel them kind of pushing at a distance right now. 
because they want you to understand something. They really want you to figure things out. Like this person feels very like wise, um, evolved. They could even be like maybe spiritually gifted or just super empathic or intuitive. All right. It, it's just they they want you to figure something out. And um, it's not like they're they're saying to you, you need to change and you need to do this. And you need to do that. It's not like that. It, it is such a beautiful flow of energy that I'm feeling from them directed towards you like I want you to be happy with or without me I want you to figure it out I want you to have your best life I want you to have whatever it is you need to have I want um, to happen in your life whatever it needs to happen to help you grow to help you realize to help you become aware okay so even though I do feel You've done something here, obviously, that, that, you know, has caused an issue with this person. It's like they don't harbor any ill feeling towards you. It's just like I feel a need of, like, distance. Like, they want you to figure something out on your own, um, if that makes sense to you. Okay, so let's, um, let's pull some tarot. They know that you guys are soulmates. They have an awareness, but they're waiting for you. They're waiting on you to figure something out here. Yeah. You uh you have a lot you have a lot of power, okay? Like they see you as somebody very in control of your world, but again, this could mean like maybe you are a bit too controlling, a bit too dominating, um, a bit too prideful or up in ego, okay? Um, but it's like you, they want you, you know, to, to, to grow, to figure these things out, okay? To grow, to figure these things out, and then the card turns over, okay? This is a, a more evolved version of you, and I don't know why, like, because I don't feel like you are, you know, this immature, irresponsible person, okay? Maybe for some of you, that is the case, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I know, I need to, I need to get on that, but for others of you, I don't feel like it, it's about that, um, it, it runs much deeper, it, it's like some sort of, um, lack in communication, lack in understanding each other, and, and they're like, if you could just figure this out, if you could just understand where I'm coming from okay and they're waiting for that yeah yeah cuz look at ace of swords they are waiting for that they they do want to talk to you they are open to communication with you it's just that um, they need you to figure something out on your own and they it's like nothing will change their love for you no matter what Ever, okay it's just I see the tower moment there and um, you know karma hasn't caught me yet so it's like they really and I'm not saying they're right and you're wrong I'm just telling you how they're feeling it's like they want you to understand and figure something out and they realize like you've got to do that on your own they'll only hinder the process and that's why maybe they're they're holding back or creating distance um, from you because they they know that they they want to communicate with you I write messages to you I just can't seem to send them but they know you've got to figure something out on your own first okay so let's pull you as some advice retreat Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So right now, as you watch this reading, is time for you to really go within and walk with your spirit guides to see all of this from a much different perspective. What is it that they want me to understand or figure out on my own? 
all right and your spirit guides will come in very very strong to help you with that phoenix rising from the ashes okay so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care